hello 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 my people my beautiful viewers thank you so much for watching grace tv and thank you so much for watching the movie manual it is a beautiful day today we thank god for the gift of life we thank god that we are here and we're able to see a new day today because so many people didn't make it other people went to bed and didn't wake up mm -hmm. people were traveling on borders like you did but they didn't get to where they are going and you made it wherever you were supposed to be going so we thank god every day we don't take it for granted thank you again we are still in the rest tv studios like i told you always had to be in the garden someplace somewhere but we are still here right now and you can even tell from the, the setup that we are in the studio and these are the rest tv studios guys today i am honored i am blessed i am excited i am going to be talking to a friend of mine that I met about <laughs> some years ago. Some years ago, yes. <laughs> you don't mention <laughs> and I, <laughs> I met him some years ago on a film set. He is a darling to the screen. Guys, he might not be all over the place like some of you would want him to be. But mumumani na eche mani ti wobola ba pal magic or mumani. Oba wobo alaba kwechi ni chebaita coffee shop. I know you have seen this face. He's none other than Papa Daniel. He'll yeah. tell us more about himself because I don't know if that's actually like your name. Like yes, yes, yes. Why Papa? Anyways, <laughs> help me welcome Papa Daniel as he tells us exactly who exactly he is and what he's doing in the industry at the moment. Um, welcome to the show. Thank you, Angie. How good are to you? have you. Praise God. Praise the living God. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Yes, thanks it's for having me. Actually, it's good to have you. Beautiful studio. Thank you. Loving it's been it. the grace of God. Yes, yes. As in, for someone who does not understand the works of God, as mm. in the way God does what he does, oh, yeah. would go like, <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, if you had a pastor talk about how all this happened, you would Actually, understand. Actually, if you know where these guys have come from, mm. then clearly you'll actually be thanking God for what you're saying right now. Amen, yes, amen. So yes. welcome to the show. Thank you, Angie. How are it's you? good to have you, Anange. It's been a long time coming. You know, and I used to sit there and I'm like, and oh, like, I'm Peter D. <laughs> ah, I'm Peter D. When am I coming? And I'm like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I remember, remember that person. <laughs> yeah, when you sent me a message, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, come on, I know you, Angie. What's up? <laughs> when am I coming? So you remember, I went straight I to know. the point. I'm like, I know, you're like, when? Yeah. Like, didn't, you didn't. Yes. I have had issues with celebrities. Bebo. Yeah, I'm not. Not. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. I know <laughs> I know some people know you as Papa Daniel, but help yes. me tell these people what are your real names and how long have you been in the industry? Well, my real names are mm. Mushukoma Daniel Papa. I'm a Ugandan. And uh are you? Yes. Okay, I'm just asking I'm a Ugandan. I'm asking for someone that might have wanted to I ask. am Ugandan. Yeah, Mushi, Uganda. Mushi what? Mushikoma. That's a name from the East. I for real? Yes. As in East, so, East. Yeah. But now for me it's kinda confusing. My late dad was from the West, from mm. Fort Porto. Mm -hmm. My mom is from the East. Okay. From Bali. Mm. Now I don't know how they did it. <laughs> they did it. But then my mom gave me that name. Mushikoma. Yes. Do you know what it means? I'm still trying to Google. I'm still <laughs> trying to find out. Okay. Yes. But uh, yes, I'm Ugandan. Mm. Uh, about the film, I've been in film, I think, six, seven years. Mm. I That's, think so. You're such a young. Munangi, yes. We just, we just started. We just got started. <laughs> okay. So, mm. uh, Daniel. Mm. Is it okay for me to call you Daniel? Yes, please. Oh, okay. how, how do you how do you prefer to be called? I prefer Papa. You okay, know, okay, Papa. Sounds, uh, yes. <laughs> so, Papa, uh, when did you realize you wanted to act? Did you actually start the acting, like film, and how? When did you realize you really loved to do this? Okay. Um, like I always say, I always tell everyone whenever I go for interviews, mm. art chose me. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Okay. Uh, why do I say that? I come from a, let's say, kind of talented family. My mom, mm. back in her heydays, mm. she was very active in church. Uh, she used to sing, she used to dance. So you sing? I used to. Okay. Actually, I can't sing. Mm, okay. Yes. So she used to sing, she used to dance. And then uh, also I, um, Sunday school time, mm. uh, I was in the choir in church. Then I was in a boy band, and then uh, I used to play drums in church. Nice. Yes. So, let's just say from way back, 
uh, from way back, we, I had that thing because we used to do school plays, church plays, Christmas, mm, you know, Easter. Easter and all that kind of stuff. So yes, so from way back, it's, it's been part of me. It's been part of me. So what projects have you done? Well, like you mentioned, uh, Miss Tex Girls Do. Um, I was in the, the Legacy uh, by uh, Shafiq, right? Yeah. Lamek. Lamek. Lamek, yes. Uh, Lamek. Yeah. The Legacy by Lamek. Uh, Miss Tex Girls, Girls Do by Richard Malindwa. And then uh, I was in the coffee shop. Yeah, that was a project for a certain company. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, how has the experience been? You being, uh, you know, you've featured in some big because there might not be so many. Yeah. But they're they're, they're they're going to be remembered for a very long time. So how has the experience been? Well, to be honest, it's 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 not it's been challenging. How? You know, it's been challenging, both good and bad. You get. To be honest, I personally, I I, I, I never thought I would ever appear anywhere in any Ugandan. Oh, you thing. wanted to appear where in the, in the like Hollywood? Eh? You remember back in the day how things were. Mm. Then I was like, no. But then, good thing is uh, the film the film industry has evolved a lot. Mm. Uh, so fresh, that. fresh, fresh, fresh talent, fresh producers, fresh directors. Fresh People coming with fresh ideas, and mm. then now everything is changing. So, uh, like for example, me personally, I didn't know anyone. That was the biggest challenge. Mm. Yes, I had like a small talent. Yes, I knew how to act, but I didn't know anyone. So getting there basically wasn't easy. But of course, uh, thankfully for me, through uh, friends of mine, mm. uh, for example, Felix, uh, mm. Monica Felix. Mm. Yeah, he's the one who was putting in a word for me here and there. And voila, I'm now here. And you're here. So, yeah. the, so that the challenges that you might have faced were only because you didn't know so many people in exactly. the industry. Exactly. If, if man, it's just like in any other aspect of life, if you do not have the right people to deal with, then that's Okay, it. so you now don't. you're in the industry. What challenges are you facing? Ah. As a, as a young man, well built, handsome, and you know, all those other <laughs> things that come with that. So, what challenges do you face? Oh, actually, it's not even okay in terms of film. Yes, but uh, as a grown up, a growing up man, mm. you're still growing. Yes, but a young man, you mm. know, in the industry, what challenges? Well, in terms of film, basically, you know, uh, let's say like changing roles. Mm. You know, like you go for audition and then they need you to to act a certain way, to talk a certain way. Like for example, I there was a time I went for an audition and I really, I really, I had to have that really deep kind of voice with the, and I failed. <laughs> like I tried and I failed. And these people told me you have failed, and I was like, are you guys serious? You know, so changing roles. Uh, I've I've seen people. When they tell you like we need you to look like someone who's sick with sickle cells and stuff, mm. and this guy goes for like a hunger, okay, let me say a hunger strike, and he loses weight for like a so month. So you think he can't do that? My God, God has a chance. Eh. Wait, okay. Picture now, someone telling me cut off this beard. Yes. You will because have it will, killed me. It will grow back. You will have killed me. I think it's just psychological, but you will have killed me. So those are so just you some wouldn't of the go for that? I really want to try. Oh, maybe you haven't gotten that. That would actually. Did you watch a movie? Uh, I think it was. I don't, I don't. Can't remember very well the title, but it had in. Uh, Fifty Cent. Oh yes, yes. The, uh, when he was uh, an, an, an athlete. Yes, and he then had he, cancer and, and then stuff. He, had, he got cancer. Yes, imagine. And they, hmm, man, that's hard. So those that's, are the challenges you're talking about. That's really, really hard. That's not a challenge because, honestly speaking, Papa, this beard will grow back. That's really, trust me, that's hard. I respect uh, Michael Wawuyo Jr. Yes. There's, 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 there's a film he did. Man, this guy really, did, he, he lost weight. He did. He, his bones came out, the cheekbones yes. and everything, just to yes. kill a character. Yes. I respect him for that. I, I don't want to think that you don't love it so much to, to want to do something like that. I'm up for a challenge, but I know. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if I get a chance. If uh, an opportunity comes by and uh, they yes. told you, we need you to shave off everything. And lose Not only the, only the hair, but even the weight. Ooh. Yeah? Okay, the weight I would like to, because this weight is not good. 
the way I would gladly so, uh, try. So, what moral lesson or lessons have you learned as an actor? Uh, be humble. Mm -hmm. Be humble. Um, of course, network with people. You need to engage yourself. You mm. need to put yourself out there, because if you're not out there, then people won't know you, and people won't even get to see your your craft. So need to be humble we have seen so many actors and actresses come out they mm. do maybe like one two three projects and then they mm. feel and then they they they, they you know, up in the sky they're up in the sky you try to call them for gigs and they're like call my manager and stuff <laughs> like that so yeah just be humble and then uh never think you know so much every day is a learning experience you know because actually film or art is one thing that actually shows that you really don't know because you can get a role today and they need you to be a pastor and you really need to learn how to how pastors are, behave and everything and then the next time you need to be a policeman you're not going to say that you know how these people are mm. so it's something that you need to learn every single day how to change your voice tone it up i don't know everything one of the biggest challenges for me is crying you don't know how to cry you never cry someone says action and then tears are rolling yes my god of course for a man i can understand it's kind of hard a lot, i've seen guys cry <laughs> i was on set and i saw a guy i even i went and sat next and i'm like are you serious like you're literally crying so yeah be humble just network uh, put yourself out there and yeah the sky is the limit. Hmm, okay. So other than acting, because uh, clearly, uh, you know, people have t I talked to on this show, mm. most cases you'd find someone is acting, but they're producing, they're writing, mm. or they have love for doing yeah. such. Maybe they haven't actually done it, mm. but it's something they're thinking about. So uh, other than acting, what else do you do? Or what else are you looking forward to doing? Looking forward to doing, I would, uh, I'm really fascinated, okay, in the film thing, I'm really fascinated with uh, the sound guys. The yeah. way these guys raise the sound boom, it's just, it's just amazing. Yeah, you know, it's not it's, easy. It's not easy. Yeah. But it kind of looks cool. I really, I would really, really want to try that one time. No, if anything, me, if I was, <laughs> I was asked what I would want to do, I think I would like to, to stand behind the camera. I would like to carry the boom. <laughs> I would like to carry the boom. You like to carry yes, the boom. Yes, I would like to carry the boom. So that means you need to go and study, um, sound, have an idea about yes, sound and what yes. happens. So you didn't go to school for film. No. It is just an inborn kind. Of inborn thing. Mm. But then, of course, you brush it off. You, you 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 brush off a few things, just try and improve a few things here and there along the way. So besides acting, so this was what we yeah. want to do still in film. film. So besides now acting, outside, uh, of course, uh, to be honest, we haven't yet reached a point where you can hundred percent survive in film. So out there, I'm a marketeer. I do freelance marketing, uh, so many things. And then also have like a small business. Okay. Yeah. Now that brings me back to the next point. Mm. What, what you just said something when you said, "Do you see? You know, you cannot survive mm. on acting. Why? Why is that the case? Because we know other people, other professionals survive on what they do. Yeah. Why can't we survive on acting? Um, unfortunately, we have our art or our industry hasn't yet been taken seriously. Let's say starting from our our leaders up there in government. Mm. Well, fortunately, right now a few people are beginning to see that actually this thing is serious and this thing is big. Mm. But let's be honest, right now you you cannot say that someone can survive a hundred percent in film. Uh, for example, if if you get a gig and mm. and someone asks you how much you want. And you are honest with them, you're and you tell so them, lucky to "I even want, be asked. yeah," and, and you're like, "I want this much." You're already fired. <laughs> and they're, they're and like, "Hey, how? Eh? Do you know? Do you know we have a hundred people behind you who can do this same thing for way less?" No, Papa. Honestly speaking, that's th that thing pains it, me it so hurts. much. It hurts. I feel like I wish I had all the money in the world. Yeah. And I would set up a production house and I would have a, a, a casting mm. agency all under my name yeah. and, and I would be able to do things professionally. Do you yeah. think we are not professional enough to handle these things? Who are these people in the industry? Well, those we found there. So, those um, we found there, those who have been there longer than us. 
uh, they've kind of monopolized, let me say, the industry, so they feel actually you're working with them. They're helping you. They're helping you. So you either so, so you you're either even dance. actually very lucky when you're asked how much. Yeah. So you either dance to their tune or you're out. Oh, no, you're but out. But now because you love the art, you really want to work. You really want to show the world uh, your talent, or if you and want to minister story. through your art, through your talent, That's of very course. Content, yeah. And then someone someone shuts you down just because you feel like according to my worth and what I can do, this is, what, this is how much I want. Do you think this happens just because these people have no idea whatsoever what the talent or the actor does to pull off a character? I, I think they do know because most, some of these guys actually started by acting. That's so sad because I'm thinking if, if you... Some of these guys actually started by acting but then along the way I think they realized okay, I think I'm, I cannot really pull it off as an actor but I can pull it off as a director or as a producer and then they mastered the stuff and now they're somewhere. So all of them have been there but I just don't understand why we do not support our very own. We don't want to, to finance our very own. So Papa, let's say you had all the power. Mm and the authority to change a few things here and there in the industry, mm. what would you change? Definitely the pay. <laughs> How Definitely would you change that? How would you, you change that? Let me tell you something. If, 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 uh, if you have a company and you need 100% results, mm -hmm. but then your workers are not happy or comfortable, definitely you won't get the best out of them. Okay. You get. I wish we just would have maybe a standard fee and they're like, okay, you this know, is like, like a like, startup. Yeah, like, yeah it you would be nice. Do not go below this. I think it would be good for Because there, there was a time a few years ago when the Minister of Labor came up with laws that governed mm. uh, workers, whereby yeah. they said a minimum pay for, let's say, a house help yes. should not be less than 100000 Yes. A few years ago, of course, it never it never yeah. worked. You know what yeah. happens here. Yeah. But... Uh, but uh, what else would you change? Mm. Would you fire all these people? Would you put uh, s uh, like systems and structures whereby, whereby you would uh, uh, like sit down and say, okay, bring bring your. Let me look at. I, I would, don't know. I would, I would I would fire the people up there in the big offices. Okay. Because most of them actually do not know art. You know, it's it's so disappointing. Uh, f let's say f for. These guys up there, or these these so-called uh, guys Why, are what making do you mean laws, up there? The government offices, <laughs> definitely okay. yes. Okay. These guys are representing art, but they have nothing to do with art. They're not even interested in art. Oh. They're just there to milk. So maybe you think at this point, if uh, even before you get the power and the yeah. money and the authority, if maybe you would uh, have people that know what. Art is all about sit yeah. in these offices. Yes. You think it would change? It will a definitely, few it will definitely do. Yet, but I, I highly doubt that. You know why? Because it is you, Papa. You wake up one morning, you get your kamani. God knows where you got it from. Where you went for a for two years or three years, you came back here for your first love, which in this case is filmmaking. Um, yeah. And then, and then you're going to buy your equipment, set it up, and then make your rules. So someone is going to tell you, oh, oh, you're getting angry. You are making your rules, but then remember, there's something called taxes. Okay. Or against the way, you've done your chair, you're coming back with your money, they will tax that. You want to buy your equipment and stuff, they will tax that. You get. These guys, let's first change everybody up there. Put people who understand film. Put people there. For example, put the Molindwas, put the, I don't know, all the, the Abbe Muchibis, put all these guys who have been in art, guys who know what we are going through. These guys understand us because they are with us, they are in the system. Put them up there, these guys will fight for film. Mm. Cameras will be cheaper, you know, things will be cheaper for us, cameras, sounds, everything, locations. Do you know what, do you know, that's one of the hardest things in Uganda? I know. Looking for a location? I've seen guys hustle, man. Like, you want to do a project, your script is out, everything is out, you've done And your even rehearsals. the money is there. The money is there, everything, and then you take two months looking for a place. No, I know. You know? So, 
I think once we change the people up, up there, guys who are representing us, I believe everything else so will just work out So do you think by having people who are up there and have no idea whatsoever what art is all about, do you think it has affected our performance as an industry? Definitely it has. Because I was, I was about to ask you, what would it take mm. for us, for our industry, to be able to compete on an international level with, uh, for example, Kenya, Tanzania? Do you know these guys came yesterday? Yeah, these guys came yesterday. And, 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 and but the are, government supports them. The government finances their projects. The government markets them. The government, you know even pays for for their stuff to go all over the world basically these guys have government behind their back for us it's for begging and the moment you try to raise your voice you're stubborn you want to riot you want to i don't know do what then you're tear gassed and everything some of our guys remember were arrested I think yeah did you, did you ever get a chance to look at the regulations that came in uh, just around covid time when the regulations going around and everyone thought they were actually here to kill us and what and yes, what. Yes, I remember they were saying should we have to register, I don't know. All those there things was and there was so stuff. much, I mean, like That's everything killing. happens in Uganda, I don't know. Maybe That's demoralizing us now, you exactly. know, you, you, you're not supporting us, you're basically killing us. True that. So, like I told you, man, these admins up there, you're not doing us well, to be honest. Okay, so Papa, you, you said you've worked with, you worked with, uh, coffee shop uh, mystics yeah. girls do the legacy mm. and now you're in an upcoming one that is going to be very hot i cannot talk about that because it's not yet out there but yes. of the three or four or whatever you've done before which uh, one of them uh, had the uh, most challenging oh, role okay i thought you want to tell me which one was the best <laughs> uh, i know the I'm most okay. challenging role because if you say the best you might end up not getting a job Man. you don't say hmm. the most challenging and why well, I think, I think this one then I just did mistakes. Mistakes? Yeah. You're I, playing who in mistakes? I, I, was, I acted as Josh. I played as Josh. Who's Josh? Uh, he is an IT guy. Okay. Uh, engineer, telecom engineer stuff. Mm. I have no clue about engineering telecom stuff. And, you know, all those, but that's what makes no, it, you all know, those terminologies <laughs> and... <laughs> eh, come back to that point yeah. do you know it is only acting or filmmaking that teaches us so much yes we are better off than doctors doctors can yes. go for maybe further studies and what and what and yes. what but for us today i can be a doctor yes actually i have uh, I, I, someone asked me that question some time back and they're like why do you like film and i was like because i can do wherever i want to be anytime anytime Today I'm a doctor, the next time I'm a policeman. And you're not just being a doctor by wearing it. You actually yes. go and read about it. And you read about yes. it. You, uh, now, so I think we should be the yes. most learned people. Mistakes. Uh, my friend Arnold was a doctor and the guy was in hospital. Like they gave him the, the whole hospital, like full, full, full. And he was there chilling with doctors and nurses. And I was like, oh, oh okay. So cool. back to that other point. Mm. So how did you research for that role? Now, what did you do to be able to understand all these terminologies about engineering <laughs> and, <laughs> and be able to actually pull it off? Uh, fortunately, I have a, a few friends of mine who are in that field, mm -hmm. like in the telecom thing. Mm -hmm. So definitely I, I had to look for them. I had to sit down with them. I had to ask them a few questions now. Okay, what's, what do you call this? If the signal is off, what do you do? What, what, what? In case did you ever at any one point shoot when you're at work? Unfortunately, no, it didn't. Uh, okay. For my role, basically, I was just, I had a lot of family issues. Ah. So, so <laughs> my from, part, from your, your challenging work, yes. you still come back to... For my challenging, actually, I preferred my job more. Because <laughs> I knew every time I left the office and I went back home, problems. Oh. So, yes, Josh had, a lot. Hey, Josh had problems. He issues, had issues. issues. He had issues in the house, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's because he was indecisive. Do you think that could have been the case? Yeah. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, uh, mistakes girls do. Yeah. What is the whole title about? Because now we're talking about Josh, but what about the mistakes girls do? Uh, do they mean like men don't actually make mistakes? Because I think they do. Yeah. Um, actually, for me, I think it's 
uh, how I understood mistakes is I think the reverse. It's actually what we guys were doing, but because of the mistakes that we were doing, you ladies were falling for them. Um. You get it? It, actually, we are the problem. The guys were the problem, but yeah. then the, the yeah, ladies kept on falling for us with our problems, and then they look bad at the end of the day. They think the girls are the bad ones. Yes. Yet it's you. It's, it's but it, that's what it is anyway. Even in Josh, real life. Yeah, imagine Josh. Josh has uh, his wife, Allen. No, Josh first dated his Allen sister. Break up. And then I meet you, Allen, in the supermarket. You introduce me to your sister. And then you get to know that we had a thing. But then still, you're like, it's okay since you guys are not together. Ah, oh, man. It's, it's, it's so really what do confusing. you think uh, an, an audience watching, seated watching mistakes girls do are learning? What, would, what do you think someone who's out there has no idea what all this you're talking about, but what do you think mistake girls do teaches anybody out there? We basically just uh, unmasked the real issues of life because uh, on, like, on my social media, I got a lot of messages from people. Guys were like, oh my God. Don't you tell guys. me you attacked. Not really. Okay, mm. yes, some did. Actually, I was attacked physically. No. Somewhere. No. Yes, some guy met me and was like, how dare you? And I'm like, how uh, did uh, I do? Please, yes. Papa. I was shocked. This guy was like, how <laughs> dare you? And I'm like, uh, excuse me, do I know you? He's like, how dare you hit a pregnant woman? And I'm like, what? A pregnant woman? You know, like, I was totally shocked. Like, he's like, yes. Oh, so you, you had, you, actually, I think you started thinking, yes. I think he was mistaken like, for someone else. Yeah, I'm like, boss, excuse me, I don't know you. Like, he's like, how dare you hit George, Joan? And I'm like, Ah, ah. I'm like, oh, okay, John, yes, yes, yes. So it was really funny. Yeah. And this guy was actually pissed. Yes. But I ended up laughing. Then I saw like he wasn't amused at yeah. all. Then I was like, okay, <laughs> now, I'm like, just calm down. Uh, relax, my like, friend. Yeah, we're acting. Like, we're just, he's like, yes, but you know, men do not hit pregnant women. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. So I, I ended up apologizing. Yes. You get So mistakes, basically, we were, we were just showing real facts, things people go through in their day-to-day -day lives guys uh, if you had no idea what film was about he just said it yeah it we're not wasting time when we're doing yeah. film we're actually a voice for yes. the voiceless so we understand what is happening in the world and we want to help people speak for yes. them we will be right back we're going for a short break don't go anywhere i'm still going to come back and we're going to tell you exactly what filmmaking is about. We're still with Papa. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. I'm actually glad you rejected my proposal. Did you sleep with her too? Suit yourself, but get tested. There's always a desire to lay blame and who better to blame than an innocent person? You're not dissing me now because of Monica, are you? Don't tell me what to do. Just shut up and leave. You're really something else, Allah. It has nothing to do with you, Lisa. Says who? Well, there's always that time in our lives when, when change is necessary. But being pregnant, isn't it like mandatory? I was meaning to ask the same question earlier today. Oh, God. Again? The thing is, we've been down this road before and it did not end well. That's why I'm so upset. Do you like Mike? Are you saying I'm a loser? Exactly which facts do you want to put out? Alan is an amazing man. I know that. Then why won't you marry him? Because I'm not ready. Ready for what? There's something about Mike that tingles me each time. See, deep down, she's such a smart woman. Very homely. Whatever game you are playing, I do not want my niece to be a part of it. That is not an option. Whatever Mrs. Mutu is putting in this coffee, I also want. Welcome back from that short break. I'm still here with Papa Daniel Mushu. Mushikoma. Mushikoma. The one and only. The one and only. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he has a very unique name and he doesn't, like, but it sounds nice. You should be able to use it Mushikoma. a lot. Mushikoma. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, and we are, we, 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 we are glad that you're still waiting and watching. Please stay, don't move because what we're going to talk about now 
it's more like personal, personal, personal. So, no. <laughs> so, uh, what have you achieved? In film? Mm -hmm. A name. That's very important. Yeah, a name. That is very, very important. I can't say like 100% uh, satisfied, but at least mm. I have a name out there. And someone, uh, when, when, they are, when they're looking for... Yes. They can... Yes. They can you know, um, one of the, I think one of the biggest achievements an actor and actress would want to really have is to get to a point where you don't audition anymore. Is that possible? Apparently, people even in Hollywood still do. Yeah, because I think when we get to a level, you know what I mean when I say by yeah. papa? As yeah. in, if there are like 20 people that can do what you do. Yeah. Maybe even in terms of the looks. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a guy called Jeff. I don't know if you've met him. He's an actor? He's an actor. Now, Yenga, if they put you out there, the both of you, you could play twins. Are you for real? I'm telling not like so much, so much, but you could like pass Jeff, for twins. Jeff, <laughs> I need, I need <laughs> to see. Yeah, you. but the, see my you. point is, uh, mm. as in maybe when you get to that level, you have a role. You'll be forced to do what? Yeah. To audition. To audition. And, 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 you know, hold auditions and see who actually kills it or pulls it out better. Mm. But now, speaking of that, there's so much that has been happening in the industry. Mm. I know me and you, me alone can't do anything. You alone cannot do much. Yeah. But maybe when, when we join forces, True. we could change a few things here and there. For example, what do you have to say about having the same faces over and over and over. It would be fine if I'm seeing the same papa in the mystics girls that is going on for over a year or so, years and years and years. But it's so sad when I have papa in one project, I have papa in the next one. I have, as in, what do you have to say about that? Do you think that bores the audience or do you think that is not helping papa to grow? Mm. Because he's gotten comfortable and he knows, he knows. But what do you, what do you have to say about that? Because I don't get it. I don't feel it. It's not that. I th I think. We well, have I think I think if you're good at something, uh, definitely doors open for you. Everybody will want yeah, to work with you. But you also said something when we were starting. When yeah. you said one of the challenges that you faced was because yes. you didn't know you didn't people. Know everybody. Yeah. Yeah, like badencha, 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 chizimba, Yes. <laughs> now you've made my point disappear. Oh my God! If uh, you're good, if uh, something, yeah. If yeah. if if you're good, if you're really good at what you do, definitely doors open for you, and every director and producer would really, really want to work with you. You can't, you can't blame them. You can't stop that. But also. Uh, the actors and actresses out there who really want to do stuff, but they have no start. Let me tell you, my inbox, my Facebook, in <laughs> I have so many people. I want to act. I want to act. I want to act. I cannot do. I cannot do much. Me as Papa, I cannot do much. You get because I'm also still trying to build myself out mm. there. But I, I just give them words of advice, and I always just tell them, put yourself out there. But how? How do you expect me to put myself out there when they have, when they have like, uh, let's say, ten faces, five men, five women? They are the same people you see. I'm, I'm not going to mention them, but in, but I, I want. I feel like I want to mention names. I don't mention. No don't mention. project names. Be there. Okay. Just be out there. Let me use an example, not in film. You see this Sejirina, uh, Sejirinya, yes. the, the MP guy. Yeah. This guy just puts himself there. Oh, whether you like it, whether you don't like him, or whether you, you get. And if you hear his story, he said from I don't know where oh, yeah, he, he was, was fetching, water. fetching water to survive and stuff. Even boarded a truck to come to Kampala and everything. And right now, look at where he is. He's an MP. Just he's all over the place. Bamukubye, You need to be out there now. For example. Eh? You are an actress. Mm. You want you, you want an opportunity to act. I'm not given the opportunity. Have you have you gone there? Yes, now, I for have. example, like here now, like in Uganda or Kampala, we all know uh, where your actors and actresses meet is National Theatre. National Theatre. Mm -hmm. Now, 
why would you be an actor and you're chilling at uh, Centenary Park? Or Oli Lugogo, I don't know where. But there are even some of these filmmakers that don't ever come to national theatre for. Tandi Kidao. Nze kati 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 nze nze ndi dobozi. Tandi Kidao. Nze ndi dobozi. I am the voice of that person that has been to auditions. But at the end of the day, you are. Okay. Let me make it easy for you, Papa. We are auditioning for a role. Yeah. Not me and you, but we are going for auditions. They've called for auditions. Yeah. And you are in the queue. Mm going to audition or okay either this person is actually coming out mm. or coming after you mm. this person i'm talking about the cream <laughs> the, the one thing that actually bothers me a lot that's why i said i i want i'm praying to god that i get the money Build a production house. Zija. Mm. Jesus Nayenga. name. Amen. Zija. Nayenga and the professional as professional as one can be. Mm. Because I am thinking, like I was saying in that same thing, Bebat Nulida Feseri. Nga Gweteba Chakula, but it doesn't matter how good you Kati, wear. Let me tell audition. you something, Angie. Uh, sometimes directors and producers don't want to take risks. Okay. Now, director of your project. Mm -hmm. Client needs this work to be done in three months. Mm -hmm. This director, this producer knows Angie can nail this role. Mm -hmm. she, that, she may not need a lot of training. Mm -hmm. She just needs a few polishing here and there, but she's good to go. And Angie will execute this role in this period of time that you're about to say TNZ. And that's why they'll call you back. They catch all the angel, mm. from the from talking to walking to everything. Like basically, you're starting from A. the director Like you need to, he has to groom you all the way from zero, okay. and yet he has a two three uh, month deadline to execute a project. Definitely, he will. He would prefer looking for those who are already there, but about you could be guys have been there before. Now, yeah, it's not good, it's not good, but then, but you see, unfortunately, but life is not fair, Angie. <laughs> life is not it's, fair, it's, it's not good yeah. and it's not helping us because when will this other person, when will, when will this other person get a chance? Because you cannot know how good I am unless you give me a chance to show you what I can do. Yes, and that's why sometimes you see them as extras. Yeah, but again, it now becomes so boring to the to the audiences, to the viewers. But Nangi, what what can you do? But by the way, that's one thing. Actually, I did a research about that. Again, mm -hmm. I was around, and that's one thing that came out a lot. Most of these guys fear taking risks. Omutafunye project on Pal Magic, Afunye project. It's a big thing. Mm. They need they need a, a female lawyer, sharp looking, what, 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 and they know Angie can do it. Director, any director will look for Angie Mangu because they know you've done it before, they've seen you work before, they've seen your art, just a few touch ups here and there and you're good to go. Compared to someone you're going to go and pick from, I don't know where. Yeah, but maybe that's what why we can't grow. But then also it goes back to us as well. You see, now for me, like for example, back in the day when I was a kid, I would, I, there's so many things I really wanted to be when I was going to, mm. growing up. I wanted to be a TV presenter. I wanted to be a radio presenter. I I love radio. You I was do? Like, I need to be a radio presenter. Mukama. <laughs> Even till today, I'm like, if I just get that chance. Bambi, move for an opportunity call, eh? Let Angie know. <laughs> <I'll come. laughs> yes. So and and, and 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 because of that, sometimes I would I would stand in front of a mirror. Hmm. And I would just start talking. I ask a question, I answer myself, I ask a question, you get. It. So I even think sometimes also these upcoming guys just start on your own. Start with Start on your own. Tandi kira waka. Tandi kira waka. Start with your friends. But, because, but I have not given a chance to, to actually show the world. Angie, another thing, apart from taking risks, let's believe it or not, there's also something called luck. Mm, okay. There's also something called luck. 
o Jackson o mwana gaya kaja his very first time na chukubirao then no sango muntu omulalanga bambi he has been there she has been there she has done everything everything they have told her to do na chukola and it still doesn't ninga still time it na tuka na abira for four years five years then i don't know the day they're like ah you can and film industries they dealt like that those people only support their own but also they lack make me chidi bambi no, okay, Papa. I honestly, I hate to disagree with you there. Na yeye chigani, zengani, zendo za. Into the talent out there, and there's so no much. One, no one, no one, no one, no one is saying there's no talent. Let me tell you, there is a lot of talent. There is a lot of talent out there. Even me myself, sometimes I meet these people. Mm. Someone sees you in town now, who meets us. Someone finds you somewhere, and like, just let me just do a small skit for you. Na chukwa, and you learn like, wow, you're actually really good. But I mean, the universe is complicated. It is. It's not fair. <laughs> it is not fair at all. Okay, yeah. but uh, like like I was saying, uh, mm. so where do you see yourself five years from now? Um, I, I want to be a brand. I, I, I don't only want to be an individual brand per se. I want mm. to be like a Ugandan brand. You know, <laughs> like Baba Gamba. Papa has gone to SA. He has, he, has, he's, he has gone out to represent Uganda in film. Yet I, 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 I want to be in people's faces, not only locally, but I want, I want to go represent out there in South Africa. Are you the type? Are you the type that would want to, to go and settle some other place, or you're the type that would want to go and gather information and learn and, and bring it back here? I would, I, I would, Go and come back. Oh, you're the type that would yeah, want to go grow. Come back. Ah, man, those, grow your those own. places have issues. Yeah. Yeah. Now imagine lockdown. Do you know how many people missed Uganda that time when they closed <laughs> the airports? <laughs> <laughs> no, but but go but, uh, come back and do what you have to do. And do what you have to do. Yes. Okay. So, uh, okay, five years you with your brand now. Yeah, I, I like. That's what I'm. I'm really, really fighting for. It's not an easy journey, but uh, of course you learn along the way. Yeah. So what things are you doing to get you to that? Because there's one thing to dream. Yeah. But there's another to want to do whatever you have to do to achieve this dream. Just work. Keep working. Work towards that. Yeah, work. Work, 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 and then, yeah. yeah so, uh, do, do you, okay, you already said that you'd want to be a boom swinger. Mm. If you yes. had a chance, yes, <laughs> you'd want to swing the boom. Yes, but uh, that is more like something you think is cool. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm just talking about in terms of film or your acting career. What are you doing different that you think would make you a brand? Wow, that's 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 that's, that's a hard one. That's a good question, but hard at the same time. What am I doing mm. that is different? Mm. But he's making you better in the wrong run. Because oh. there's also being comfortable. You have the looks, you have the body. You said you've already mastered your craft. As in someone is going to call me, someone is going to say, why? What if it turned? Someone else is going to call you. Because they've seen your face, you look good on camera. Mm -hmm. But 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 not for you not to be really comfortable with that. You want someone to look you up, for example, on your social media pages and say, "This is the guy I'm looking for," either from Nollywood or from Bollywood or from Nollywood or from Hollywood. But you, as the talent, what are you doing to better yourself? You're good, but like we like we started by saying, we learn every day. We learn every day. What are you doing towards your dream of becoming a brand? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, 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 that's a deep one, eh? Yeah, but, it, uh, you know. What am I doing? Um, banking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, but uh, you know, um, uh, okay. Um, first of all, I'm starting on my social media stuff. I really need to leave the Papa Daniel and real focus on on the actor. 
Mm. I don't have pictures. That's so sad. Not work. I have to do a lot that of photo so shoots. That is sad. That is so <coughs> sad. In fact, thank the Holy Spirit that gave me this question. Because I think for starters, you have to start with that. You wanted me to just embarrass myself, <laughs> which is okay. No, uh, I, 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 I forgive you for that. <laughs> but yes. Uh, I, I didn't intend to. Yeah, but also that also goes out for, for, for those who want to start as well. Um, mm. Have a social media platforms, have enough pictures, professional pictures, not this WhatsApp angle stuff. Have professional pictures, good lighting, good background. Have uh, how do you call that the, the, the facial? Like when you, you have a picture, and you're smiling, you're crying, you're angry, like showing different reactions. Emotions. Yeah, emotions and stuff. Have all those kind of things there because at the end of the day, when people are looking for you, those are the things they look up into. Actually, even have a CV. Actors a have CVs. Real. Yeah, show real. I was shocked. Yes. And embarrassed at the same time. Yes. But it was actually interesting. Like, have a CV. Talk about yourself, the projects you've done, and, and, and yeah. So yeah, those are the things I'm looking up into 2021. I mean, uh, Hope I've so, answered you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you you kind of dropped in that idea, that, that the advice bit of it that I was going to ask the next question. Mm. That how would you advise someone who's out there? First and foremost, this person hasn't been so lucky mm. to get opportunities, but he's good. He loves he loves acting. He loves filmmaking. He loves it. He is passionate about it, but he doesn't know how to break through. Well, how would you advise someone like that? Well, like I said earlier on, um, you can't be you, you can't be an actor or an actress and you're chilling with doctors. You get you can't be an actor and you're chilling with with engineers or uh, metal workers and stuff, you need to chill with actors. So at the end of the day, look for actors and actresses. Yes, some of these people here, but pray over it. <laughs> I'm sure one way or, in a, or uh, one day, one time, you'll meet an actor or actress who's actually uh, welcoming, mm. who will take you up. Just be around people who matter in film. If you know that most of these guys chill at National Theatre, again, they, oh, uh, if, if they're having plays, if you, if you see them having rehearsals, just sit there, watch them, engage with them, make friends with them, and then at the end of the day, opportunity will come your way. That's the best thing I can say, because there's literally, there's no magic, like, you, there's nothing I'm gonna tell you, just go and perform and it will work, no. Just be out there, look for these people and then market yourself or oh, have social media platforms mm. have pictures mm. you know look good at the end of the day and yeah okay so what what papa is actually trying to tell us is want like want what that that thing that you think you love love it so much that you'd want everyone to know about it be disciplined. Be professional. Yeah. Go out there. Look for these people. Don't sit at home. In fact, I always tell people on this same show that, okay, forget about this season whereby we've been having issues with the internet yeah. and all that. Yeah. But you find someone loading airtime. Yes. You know, all these people watch Kuba da Bobanga and go following and go following a remote in the future. It makes a lot of sense. But if you want to be an actor and you're following an imposi, Ngan, for example, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> At least things the kwanga maso wolo kufuna yo idea mwe kubira pose nange no same but i'm thinking over audi okay oyagala kubera an actor it's your dream it's it's what you do want to do in life or ochite but but you're following kanye yeah oli ku kanye kati ya flumiza yizi simanyi yizi ngato empale bichi yarwanye are they divorced you, you load your airtime, you buy your data, and the best thing you can do is look up Kim Kardashian. Yes. Look, okay, you can look up Kim Kardashian to see, you know, how she's dressed so that you can also, you know, you know, you know. Look for the Chinese version of it. You know, you understand. <laughs> but my point is, honestly, guys, if you want to do film, if you want to act, 
and for some strange reason or for not so good reason you have not gotten an opportunity to future in any any commercial any short film or even a future please put yourself there papa mentioned that take pictures professional pictures when you're smiling when you're crying all those emotional pictures have a show reel you might not have so much to show for it but at least do monologues at home in your mirror or sit down with your family and, and and tell a story and let's have someone recording this so when you go to an audition have something to present because they someone said that one time when they are advertising for jobs they're like we are looking for an engineer with a five-year experience but how am I going to get an experience when I have mm. not gotten an, an, a job? Yeah. So my point, back to the point where we are, we are saying, put yourself out there, guys. Chizibu si changu, you get disappointed, yes. you get frustrated, you and want uh, to give up. Actually, sorry to cut no, you no, short, okay. but even um, uh, when you're out there, I know not everybody is actually good. Especially for the ladies, for the women, guys take advantage of them. There's a role, there's a role for you, but uh, you need to first Aren't come you, and see. And we have me. told them to put themselves yeah. out there. Yeah, put yourself so out there, but then I mean, have have your standards. Okay. Yeah, have your standards. I don't know the day because you no, you know smiley. your worth. You I'm know your worth. Papa, you know your worth. Do you know where I am coming from? Yes. Papa, I have waited. I have been waiting, I have believed, I have prayed, I have believed. And then I get this phone call from a director, a producer is telling me I have a role for you. How do you, how do you tell me to, to do what? Let me tell you. It is what I've been waiting for forever. So this person says undress yourself and then you're going I to I don't do know what to do because I am to? thinking it is my way out. So help me tell someone that would go Let through something you. like that. At the end of the How day, would they stand at their the end ground? of the day, uh, we do our part, we work so hard, but at the end of the day, God up there plans everything for us. God wishes good things for us. True that. You get. If you get any opportunity... You're in that situation. Yeah, if you get any opportunity that requires you to lower your standards, then it's not from God. And it's not for you. And it's not for you, or it could be for you, but it's not long-lasting. I think I've made myself very clear. Yeah, that's yes. very If you get any opportunity that gets you to lower your standards or to disrespect yourself, then it's not yours whatsoever. Run away. So you're telling this person to hold on and wait. Wait. Your time will come. Good things come to those who wait. Oh, very important. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now, Papa, who do you look up to? Who is this person? Locally, first let's let's deal with locally. <laughs> locally, who's that person that you look up to and you're like, eh, Nayimbo was a wanga bit. Michael Wawi and Gary Jaya Salam waited. I'm not thinking he's the one you look up to. But uh, let me say it, Michael Wawi. Every time I meet that guy, I'm like, boss, yes, hands down. So yes, I, I respect that guy because for him, he goes full throttle. If you tell him, lose the beard, lose the weight, Trust me, two months you he will look like he has AIDS. If you tell him now we need you fat, I don't but know what he what eats. But that's what acting is all about. Yes, because so we tell stories. Yes, and man, we tell I respect, stories. I respect. Papa, you have to calm down, my yeah, friend. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so internationally. Uh, oh wow, <laughs> internationally, man. Uh, uh, Denzel. Hmm. Denzel is really but that good. Guy, I don't know if he knows. At least Denzel 90% really of the people good. that have been on this show. Yes. Denzel. 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 Uh, Will Smith. Uh, I don't have to mention a lot of them, but. Yeah, yeah let but, me just but, give but you the fact that those two came. Yeah. That means they're on top of your head. So that means. Idris. 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 Me, I love him just for me. He's good. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what are those uh, your um, movies that all time, that all time kind of movie that you would run back to? It can be at Seri, it can be from Hollywood, it can be from Nollywood, it can be from here, it can be from anywhere, but give me at least five. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, where are you going or the filmmaker, one of the things I'm going to do is 
Nze wata gano mbuza wata. Okay, first give me your five. First give me your five. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let me change. Ah, so ladies and gentlemen, okay. I have Angie here. Yes. Uh -huh. So Angie, please. Mm. Oh, welcome to the show. You're welcome. Yes. Give me your five best movies of all time. Do I start with number five or do I start with number one? Either way. Either way? Yeah, either way. Okay. My number five would be a criminal. Oh, uh-huh. That by, by it, uh, it featured uh, Taraji uh -huh, P. Uh -huh, Henson. Uh -huh. My other one is a seri. Uh -huh. It is a seri by, by Tara Perry. Uh -huh. It is called Sisters. That's good. That's yes. a good one. That's a good my, one. My third one would be Empire. Oh, yeah. Now you see I'm dealing oh, yeah. with. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm dealing with. Uh, I'm and then the other one for would the be crazy ones, Breaking yeah. In. Uh -huh. Gabriela Union was. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, Na, yes. You know, look at number four. I take at you say, 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 say. Uh huh. jamu, sengeji. Okay. Kati area and dalaje nandi gambi and tinewe neva kanenzu kukanso bolo jiraba. Mm. Bajita white chicks. I don't know if you oh, watched it. It's a series. No, it's a movie by the Wyans. Ah, oh yes, yeah, yes, yes, it was yes, crazy. Because yes, yes, yes. I have also, there's something else they did. It's called senseless. It, I mean, I can go on and on and on and on because. I watch films like all my free time. So tell me you're five. We are back, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Papa and he's going to give us his five favorite movies of oh all time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, film. There's this movie. I was a young kid. I I don't know. It was called uh what was it? Oh sweet. Oh my god. Papa. I am. I swear. No 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 no. no, 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 Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. We're just getting started. I swear, you should be having like three, like popping, popping, popping. Never-ending story. <laughs> okay. That movie, I don't know, man. It's 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 really it really touched me. And I was like a young boy, three, four, five years, but till today, I still remember. Never-ending story. Until. Uh, series. It is something you'd go back and watch. It's something yes, that had but an now I, I even tried to look for it, but you can't find it anywhere. Really? Yeah, but like, I even go back to live and still Google. Please and find it. Never ending story. It was a very, very nice movie. Mm. Uh, series. Not yeah. necessarily. Series, I think. It also doesn't have to be a series. It can I like uh, Power. Mm. Power because uh, I love how those guys do it. Uh, the white guy. I love uh, suits, mm -hmm. the lawyers. Mm. I love. Uh, so I guess you have to watch that more because actually, that's, it's, it's that one I'm, I'm 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 actually watching again because of mm. the, that is coming the, up. the okay. coming project. Uh, is it maker? B. <laughs> okay, number five. <laughs> uh, what's that movie called? I swear, I swear, Papa. Huh? It is okay, Katchireke. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> but then, yeah, yeah, there's just so many. You, you just have a I brain know, freeze. I, yes, you just get a brain freeze, and you're okay, like, okay, it's, it's all right. Hey. Bye, but then, when I'm going to step out, you know, come on, I'm like, 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 I'm I can frustrate you and I can squeeze <laughs> you. <laughs> but I thank God that you're allowed to be here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you thank for you having for me. It, thank it, you for having me. Bambi. It, it, it's me who was waiting. I don't know, but it's me it who never was waiting. Yeah, welcome to the Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, sour, yeah, sour, So thank you for allowing me to be on the show. Thank you for hosting me. And you're me. welcome to come anytime. Oh, and, in case uh, you have something that you want us to talk about or something you think that would help us yes. as individuals, but yes. also as an industry. Yeah. So it would be nice to have you more and more and more. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. And uh, another movie is called Jumanji. <laughs> 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 I remember one by one, Jumanji was a very, very nice one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, very, very yes. nice one. That's Papa for you. Yes, that's, that's me, Mnange. Yeah, you know, Mnange. You're stressing, you're not stressed. No. You're not stressed. You're not Very good. So I'm thinking if it was an examination room, you'd run and come back and you're like, no, 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 wait a second. Hmm. Huh? Or you just ask, you remember those days in school, just yeah. keep raising your hands for more full scabs, yeah. actually not doing anything, yeah. just no kutisa, yeah, exactly. yeah, so it's all psychological, <laughs> those things. So yeah, guys, 
we come to the end of the show. Thank you so much and God bless you. We'll see okay. you soon. Don't go anywhere. Always tune in because we have the best of the best of the shows, entertaining, educating, and informing. Stay tuned. God bless you. We love you. Bye.